Helene, the president is going to speak to the country about Libya tonight for 15 to 20 minutes. What does he need to do? Well, he has a lot of different audiences and he has a lot of different points that he's going to have to make. He's coming under a lot of criticism, both from the Hill and from foreign policy experts in other countries as well as to what exactly is our vital national security interest in Libya. One of the things that President Obama will do tonight will be to talk about the number of humanitarian lives, civilian lives that have been saved. But that's a sort of talking about a negative, you know, talking about a genocide that didn't happen is, as Hillary Clinton explained yesterday, a little bit difficult. I think we prevented a great humanitarian disaster, which is always hard to point to something that didn't happen, but I, I believe we did. Now, the president over the weekend in his uh, internet address said the campaign is working. Today, I can report that thanks to the brave men and women in uniform, we've made important progress. Could it mean that we have a very quick exit and victory, whatever victory is in this context? Well, President Obama will suddenly, certainly love a very quick exit. I don't know that that necessarily will be the case. It's starting to look a lot like a civil war. What's the worst case? Worst case is we go through years and years of this, you know, and it turns into a Saddam Hussein in the night. I mean, that man lived under no-fly no zone for 12 years. That's got to be what Bob Gates is worried about, although he's not going to be around to oversee it. <laughs> no, he's not. Who says that we know that the rebels who we're backing are going to be any more humane, democratic, friendly to the United States than Gaddafi? What does the administration say about that? Within the administration, there's definitely a lot of ambivalence. One of the things with Obama's, um, Obama's speech tonight is I'm very curious as to how ambivalent he's going to sound. Because when he's come out in the past what, week and a half since this campaign started, he hasn't sounded that gung-ho either. Now, there have been times when this coalition the United States has put together has seemed a little bit shaky. The Arab League, France wanted to go full speed ahead. The, the Arab Germans League thing don't. was just like really, I, I mean, I think a lot of people in the administration were very, um, very perplexed and really kind of annoyed about that. Uh, Amr Musa, who's the former head of the Arab League, turned around and said, oh, but we didn't mean for people to get killed. You saw a lot of frustration among people at the administration. So what happens if this coalition phrase, does the United States own the operation or are they happy to own it? They're definitely not happy to own it. But the reality is that when it comes to waging war, we do it better than anybody else. The whole extra, you know, extricating ourselves process, which Obama has started and is trying to, to turn over now, I'm really curious as to how we're going to do that and how that's going to work. Thanks, Celine. Thank you.